Perform passive range of motion to the lower extremity. Introduction. Range of motion exercises are done only with a doctor's order. They are performed to keep a patient from losing function while they recover. They are only done on the extremity indicated in the care plan. CNAs are not performing exercises to restore function, only to keep the patient from losing function. You will examine the patient throughout the skill for signs of pain. If the patient has pain, you will only progress with the exercise to the extent that the patient is comfortable. Ask the patient frequently about pain. For the exam, each exercise will be performed three times. You will always return the extremity to the starting position before continuing with the next repetition. Make sure you are performing a full range of motion up to the point of pain and moving the extremity slowly and smoothly, supporting it fully. The care plan will tell you what leg to perform exercises on. Because this is done only with the doctor's order, it is critical that you perform these exercises on the correct extremity. Performing these exercises on a leg that has just had surgery or has a medical issue like a blood clot can cause serious injury. The care plan will indicate if the exercises are to be performed on the patient's right or left leg. The patient's right and left are different from yours. Pay attention to choosing the correct extremity. Explain to the patient in plain language what you are going to be doing. This helps them understand what motions you will be performing and helps gain their trust and cooperation. When lifting a body part, it is important not to grab the extremity with an overhand, claw-like grip. Use the flat palms of your hands or an underhand support whenever possible. Using a flat hand reduces the possibility of bruising or tissue damage. When performing range of motion to the lower extremity, we are going to perform a series of exercises to each joint on the leg. An easy way to remember this is USA. U stands for an up-down motion. This is a flexion extension motion. The S stands for side to side or an abduction adduction motion. And the A stands for a round or a rotation motion. For lower range of motion, we are performing exercises on only two joints, the hip and the ankle. The knee will be included in the first exercise of the hip. We do not perform range of motion on toes. The first exercise on the hip is a flexion extension motion. This is commonly referred to as an up-down motion. This looks like the patient is climbing stairs. The knee is bent and pushed upward toward the chest and then returned to the starting position on the bed. This will be repeated three times. The next exercise is an abduction-adduction motion, or more commonly referred to as a side-to-side -side motion. This looks like the patient is making a snow angel. The leg is brought out to the side and then returned to the starting point on the bed. This motion will be repeated three times. The final motion on the hip is a rotation motion, or an around motion. The leg is rolled forward and backward like rolling cookie dough. The upper and lower leg should be rolled together so that the patient feels the rotation in the hip. This motion will be repeated three times. A recap of all three hip exercises, each to be repeated three times, are an up-down motion, which looks like the patient is climbing stairs, a side-to-side -side motion that looks like a snow angel, and an around motion that looks like you're rolling cookie dough. The next joint to be exercised will be the ankle. The first exercise performed on the ankle is a flexion extension or up-down motion. This is accomplished by bending the foot forward and backward as if the patient is stepping on a gas pedal. This will be repeated three times. The second motion on the ankle is an abduction-adduction motion or a side-to-side -side motion. And this looks like the patient is performing a beauty pageant wave with the sole of their foot. The sole of the foot will be turned from side to side while holding the lower leg stationary. This will be repeated three times. The final motion on the ankle is a rotation motion or an around motion. The foot will be moved in a circular motion and repeated three times. A recap of all three ankle motions, all to be repeated three times each, is an up-down motion that appears as if the patient is stepping on a gas pedal, 
a side-to-side -side motion, which appears as a beauty pageant wave, and an around motion, which appears as a circular motion. After performing all three exercises on both joints, you will perform the closing. Give the patient their call light, open the privacy curtain, ask if they need anything else, and make sure they're comfortable. You will then wash your hands and review the steps of the skill before telling the evaluator that your skill is complete. Watch the instructional video for step-by-step -step instructions on how this skill is performed. Then try this skill on your own.